Then there are user interviews. Users are people who are going to personally be using the product, right? We need to understand their goals. And who should be the focus of our design effort? Yes, your users. All these other people are important. All those issues are important. You need to keep them in mind. But your focus does need to be on your users. It's not that you don't think about all these other things. It's that your primary focus is your users. Remember I told you I was going to tell you that a thousand times and that's the one thing you'll remember walking out of this class? I'll be doing it the rest of the semester too. Now, when it comes to your users, whenever possible, you want to be able to interview both current users and potential users. Right? Because you may get two different insights from these two different types of users. It's not always possible, but look at the domain you're interested in and see who's already working in that domain and who's using a similar product. You want to know how the product fits into their lives or workflows. Remember our scenarios? You do remember, right? It was at the beginning of class. All right. The way we wrote that was we're really looking at how they use these products in their workflow, in their everyday lives. What do users need to know to be able to do their jobs? And when do they need to know it? If you are designing a system for an air traffic controller, do you think it's important to know what they need to be able to see at a glance? Yes, because who wants to be flying in a plane when they have to go clicking a bunch of buttons to see what's going on? What are the current tax and activities that the product would be required to accomplish? So what are things that they absolutely need? And what are their goals and motivations for using the product? Some are going to be universal, like being efficient and effective. But some are going to be more specific. So if I'm designing something for air, air, air traffic controller, they're going to say, well, you know, there's a lot of planes and airspace and a lot of information, altitude, and all sorts of stuff that I need to keep track of. It needs, I need to be able to see that at a glance, to be able to scan it quickly and easily. It's things that are very important to know. Now, when you are dealing with your users, remember that you need to know what their mental model is. You remember what a mental model is? I can't hear you. So, the idea of how the user of, of the user of how the product works, how it fits into their jobs, how it fits into their workflow, and what they have to do what they expect about the product, what they expect about the domain, what is it that the user thinks about? All right. So again, the focus is on the user. And we need to know what the problems and frustrations are with current products. Because if we just take a product and we duplicate what's out there, how are we going to get people to switch over? Any idea? I don't have any. So you need to have something that is better in some way. Now, where do you get your best information? It's actually by observing user behavior firsthand. Because you can talk to you know, your users, which is important, but a lot of times when we're talking to users, what they say is not always the same thing that they do. Sometimes some, some things are just so automatic in terms of dealing with some frustration that they don't think about it. Remember when we talked about uh, our USB drives at the beginning of the semester? Do you, remember, you don't remember that? You pick up a USB drive. You need to put it into your laptop. Right? You stick it in. It doesn't fit. What do you do? You just flip it over. Are you thinking about, oh, I need to flip this over, or you just flip it? At this point, we just flip it. So unless it's pointed out to you, you may not necessarily realize it's a problem. But it can be more complex than that. So you need to observe their behavior and take notes. You'll see why I'm saying that's important in a few minutes. And ask clarifying questions about situations and behaviors in real time. 
And we're going to stop there because guess what your group project is on? User interviews. Yay! Woohoo, you get to be social with people that are not IT people. Woohoo! Okay, the people in front are excited. The ones in back of me are looking at me like I'm the most evil thing on the planet. You're making me talk to those people. 